From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, definitely look at that windy day out there today. This is not going to be a major wind event. Yeah, the winds are going to be gusty at times here throughout the afternoon, but actually... We expect to see slightly improving conditions with the winds this afternoon, but still breezy going into tomorrow and even possibly into Friday. We do have a warming trend, though, the rest of the week. Not a major one, but I think we'll see some 80s in there by the time we do get into Friday, but this isn't going to last for long. We've got a big dip in our temperatures here by the time we go into Friday into the, at least the first half of the weekend with showers and some fairly low snow levels for this time of the year. We'll get into that here in a second. Take a look at your neighborhood quickly here at a glance here. Temperatures upper 70s and breezy, borderline windy for the valley. And of course, it's dry pretty much across the board. Upper 50s for Modoc County, the coast. And for the rest of the mountains in the 60s, although Trinity County in the low 70s. Right, let's take a look at those wind alerts here. Of course, we do have a wind advisory. That's going to be in effect until 5 p.m. today. Those winds from the northwest sustained at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Could see the gusts upwards of 40. I think for some of the highest uh, for some of the highest winds that we will see, and that's mainly going to be on the west side of the valley where we will see some of the strongest winds, but still gusty at times here throughout the afternoon. But I don't expect any widespread power outages, any major concerns. The main thing is going to be blown around the pollens. Uh, you know, any loose objects you may have in the yard may get blown around as well. Uh, but that's really going to be the extent of it. I mean, you can see even by this afternoon and evening, we're starting to see those winds begin to die down. Shouldn't be that bad as we take you into tonight and tomorrow. At least it'll be much weaker. But going into tomorrow afternoon, we're seeing gusts possibly over 30 miles per hour again. So it's going to be another gusty day for your Thursday. And then, of course, for Friday, still a bit on the breezy side, taking you through the day, just not as bad. So looks like weaker winds going into the end of the week. But the storm track is still up to our north as all the storms are basically just riding to our north. But as one of those storm systems ride to our north, rides to our north on Thursday, we will see a chance for some showers for parts of the north coast, Siskiyou County, and Modoc County. Now we're looking at Thursday morning at 6 a.m., dry for the valley, but still dry in the eastern mountains. But by the time we get into the uh, early afternoon hours, we start to see some of those showers making the way into Lassen County, not to mention Modoc County. Uh, but the valley looks to remain dry. And then we go into Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. It's dry, maybe a few stray sprinkles with this weak disturbance to the north and west of the north coast. But in the meantime, we are watching that potential for some more wet weather by Friday night into Saturday. Some prefrontal showers looks like they may try to develop even for parts of the valley. But for now, looks like the main band of rain here is going to be here by Friday night and into your Saturday. All right, here's the wide perspective. We're starting with today. Just wanted to show you what's causing the winds. This area of low pressure right here just kind of continues to move down to the south and east. And as long as it's to our north, northeast, those winds will be gusty. But by the time we get into Friday, the main focus will be this right here is a cold front. It's got the rain initially coming in, but some colder air coming in behind it. So the positioning of this low looks to be yeah, pretty much right on top of us by the time we get into Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. It is going to bring in some of that colder air. So we're talking snow levels for the most part, mainly above 4,000 feet. But there could be a point in time, especially Saturday night, we could see those snow levels drop down to about 3,500 feet. Chain requirements? It's going to be iffy because the road, we have to really drop those road temperatures to see what happens with that accumulating snow on the mountain highways. But you can see as that area of low pressure shifts off to the east, chances for rain and not to mention snow begin to diminish. Much drier for the beginning of next week, but there could be some weak disturbances kind of pushing to our north on Monday, keeping at least a slight chance for showers for some of the, our northern uh, communities such as uh, northern Siskiyou County and around Del Norte County, maybe even northern uh, Modoc County as well. But the winds, the winds may pick up for next Monday and Tuesday as well. 
they should die down. High pressure starts to try to build in. That will mean warmer temperatures as we get toward the middle and latter part of the next week. Let's talk about the rainfall. And, you know, we can start getting a general idea of what to expect rainfall wise. And you know what? It could be a decent amount of rain. I would say for most of the valley, a quarter to a half of an inch. As you start heading closer to Redding, uh, city of Shasta Lake, maybe upwards of an inch of rainfall. And of course, around Chico Oroville, maybe about a half of an inch of rainfall. But look at to some of the areas that typically haven't seen much rain out of these storms all winter long. We're actually seeing a decent amount of rainfall out towards Modoc County, the Eastern Mountains, Siskiyou County, looking at some decent rain. And of course, the big winner, as usual, is the North Coast. We could see upwards of, say, one and a half to even upwards of three inches of rain. But three inches of rain may be pushing it. But this is not a tiny amount of rainfall. This is going to be noticeable. It's going to be wet through the day on Saturday. And then, of course, on Sunday, chances diminish. Now let's talk about snow and I was hesitant to bring this map out because I think it's way overdoing it because it's indicating snow in places like Weaverville and Hay Fork and all of these lower mountain communities. But I did want to illustrate that this is a cold storm system, at least for this time of the year. So the Sierra is definitely going to see some snow. But, you know, by the time we get into Sunday, a lot of that snow will melt. It'll turn very slushy very quickly here. So it could create some problems over some of the higher mountain passes especially as we go into Saturday evening, Saturday night, and Sunday morning, um, when we see some of the coldest air begin to move in. But then, of course, as we go into Sunday afternoon, things begin to warm up, and a lot of that snow will begin to melt. So, yes, I do think there could be some minor uh, travel issues, especially over some of the higher mountain passes. All right, let's talk about the warmer weather. Gusty winds out there today. Temperatures mid to upper 70s in the valley, mainly in the 60s for the higher elevations, with some of the colder spots, the highest elevations in the 50s. Trinity County, inland, upper 60s, low 70s, and upper 50s out along the coast. So looking at your seven day outlook for the valley, there of course the breezy conditions, often on breezy uh, and borderline windy really for today. Winds probably about the same tomorrow, quite honestly, before they start to die down on Friday. Should be dry for the valley through the rest of the week. The peak of the warming trend is, is Friday. But look at the drop in temperatures down to 61 by Saturday quite a drop in those temperatures, at least a 20 degree drop, if not more in some cases. Rain, I mean, quite honestly, as we go into the evening, uh, as you watch my evening forecast, I may just go ahead and flat out just put rain in there because it is going to be kind of that steady rainfall coming through the day. You're not going to probably see much of a break on Saturday if you have anything you need to do outside. Sunday will be the better day of the two for the weekend where you could get some outdoor uh, chores done, right? And then temperatures should be back in the low 70s by Monday, Tuesday of next week. Here's your seven-day outlook for the North Coast, inland, and not to mention out towards Trinity County. Now, I have included a chance for showers, nothing to get excited about, but it is going to be a bit of a nuisance as we go into Thursday. I think Trinity County, for the most part, should be dry, though, on Thursday. F dry for everyone Friday. There's that rain for your Saturday and then Sunday, maybe a chance for a few leftover showers for some of the mountains and not to mention the coast. And I have even included that the case on uh, Monday along the coast here, but everywhere else on Monday should pretty much be dry. Now for Mount Shasta, for Alturas, Siskiyou, Modoc County, yeah, maybe some showers on Thursday, not to mention in the Eastern Mountains by the afternoon. There you can see, of course, dry conditions Friday, and there are those lower snow levels. Now, I've got you at 3,500 feet on Sunday for Mount Shasta, but keep in mind, that's mainly going to be a Sunday night, early uh, Saturday night, early Sunday morning event. Snow levels will rise through the day on Sunday. And then as we go into Monday, Tuesday of next week, it dries out with temperatures in the upper 50s.